Sorry about that. I just want to make sure that you got that. So this was 12x minus 12x is 0x, so just left with 36. Obviously, these canceled out, leaving us with 18. These two are not the same number, so a constant equals a different constant. So that's why it's no solution. All right. Moving on to example number four. Moving on to example number four. We have negative four times V plus three. Negative four times the quantity V plus three equals negative 12 minus 4v equals negative 12 minus 4v. So if we start with our, bar our barrier, if we start with our barrier, our second step is going to be distribute. So on the left side, we have something to distribute, so let's distribute. So I have negative 4 times v, which is negative 4v. I have negative 4 times positive 3, which is negative 12. And then that equals, I'm just going to bring down this side because there's nothing to distribute here. So now I want to make sure that there is nothing to combine, which there is not. So I want to move my letters on the left, lol. Yeah. So this whole term is being moved to that side of the equation, to that side of the barrier. So the inverse of minus 4v is plus 4v on both sides. This obviously cancels out, leaving you with minus 12. And then negative 4 plus 4, that's 0v. So this is just going to be negative 12 equals negative 12. So in the last one, we had two numbers that weren't the same. In this one, they are the same. So this is going to be infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. All right? So I want you to try the next one on your own. And then when you are ready, you will unpause the video and come back to me. You don't necessarily need to tell me how many solutions it is, but just try to actually solve it. Let's see how you're doing there. All right, so this is going to be negative 3 times v plus 4 equals 2v minus 37. All right, so again, pause the video and then come back to me. Welcome back. So... We should have done negative 3 times v, which is negative 3v. We should have done negative 3 times positive 4, which is negative 12. And then everything else was just equal. This needed to be moved onto that side, so I do the inverse, which is minus 2v on both sides. That gives me negative 37 here. And then... This is 3 and 2, so I add them together, negative 5v minus 12. And again, from here, you would have been like, I got this. So add 12 on both sides. Negative 5v equals negative 25 divided by negative 5 on both sides. And v equals positive 5. v equals positive 5. And I know my V is a little bit extra, but that's okay. So you should have gotten V equaled negative 5 when you solved that out. 